Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to continue my lesson which is 2.1 Expansions. For the students that first joining my class, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Let's have a look on the learning standard. Learning standard 2.1.3 simplify algebraic expressions involving combined operations including expansions. 2.1.4 Solve problems involving expansions of two algebraic expressions. Before proceed to our lesson today, let's flash back what is the definition of expansions. Expansion of algebraic expressions is the product of multiplications of one or two expressions in brackets. Example, when A multiply in bracket B plus C. How we get the expansions of these expressions? We are using arrow method. A times B, okay, plus A times C. Okay, the answer after expand will be AB plus AC. Let's flash back some of the uh, rules that you use for the combined operation. Normally, we are using the distributive law when we do the expansions. A times in bracket B plus C actually is A times B plus A times C. This actually we call distributive law. This is what you all learn in form 1. Okay. So another one, flashback, this is the rules of BOMAS. Brackets, order, divisions, multiplication, addition and subtractions. Why repeat or flashback these rules? Because when we used to do the combined operations, we need to follow the BOMAS rule. So we flash back or flash back the like terms. So for SR and equal to RRS means that SR and RS actually is a like term. When like, let's say PQ, PQ and QP, is that a like terms? Yes, PQ, QP also like terms. Let's see how to do the combined operations including expansions. Here is the first example which is 3W minus 2 times 4W minus 1 minus 10W. To solve these questions, we must follow the rule of BOMAS, which is have to solve the expressions in the brackets, then after that only minus 10W. So we by solving the expressions in the bracket by expand it. So expand using arrow method. Okay, then 3W times 4W, then 3W times negative 1, then negative 2 times 4w, then negative 2 times negative 1. Then we rewrite back the uh, minus 10w because we haven't solved it right. So after that, we have to throw away the bracket. So 3w times 4w, that will become 12w squared. Then followed by negative 3w, negative 8w, positive 2 or plus 2 minus 10 w after that we have to simplify it by looking at the like terms so which one is the like terms so the like term is negative 3 w negative 8 w and negative 10 w so we have to solve it negative 3 negative 8 negative 10 then will give you 21 negative 21 so therefore 12 w square minus 21 w and plus 2. That will be the answer. Let's look for another example which is r minus 3t squared plus 4rt. To solve this question, we have to expand the r minus 3t squared first. Then only we have to plus the 4rt. Still using the BOMAS rule. Then we expand it by using the arrow method. Another method we can use which is using the SMS which is square multiply square. Let's see the arrow method. R times R. R times negative T. We write in the bracket first before we expand it. Then negative 3T times R. Okay, then another one negative 3T times negative 3T. 
plus 4RT. Then we solve it by take away the bracket or remove the bracket. R times R, R squared, plus negative 3RT, negative 3RT, then negative, negative become positive. Since here negative 3T times negative 3T, we give you positive 9T squared. Then plus 4RT. So be careful on the negative times negative it will return a positive number. So ne, ne, po, negative, negative, positive. So find the like terms or determine the like terms. So like terms, this is a like term, negative 3RT, negative 3RT and plus 4RT. So we simplify it. The last answer will be R square plus 9T square, then minus 2RT. Normally, we give our last answer using the follow the power. Highest power will be in front. So without the power, will be followed at the back. So this is the last answer. Another example, x plus y times x minus y plus x times x minus 2y. So we expand the two expressions in the front, x plus y, x minus y. So x times x plus x times negative y, then followed by y times x, then y times negative y. Then the behind expressions we have to expand as well. So plus x times x will be x squared, then minus x times 2y, negative 2y will be negative 2xy. So after that, remember for this pattern, one positive and one negative, if we don't want to use the arrow method, we can use a shortcut way, which is we know that it's a square minus b square. So from here, actually, we know that uh, the, well, after we expand, we will get x square minus y square. Okay, so this is why how we get the y square, negative y square, because negative xy plus xy will give you zero. Okay, so after that is minus y square. Then followed by x squared minus 2xy. So like terms, this is a like terms. The last answer, this is x squared and x squared also another like term. So we gather all the like terms, x squared plus x squared equal to 2x squared. While negative xy plus 2xy give you a zero, return a zero here. So followed by the negative xy. But this is not the highest power. Higher power is here, negative y squared. So we, we arrange our answer by fo using follow by the power. So negative y square, then minus 2xy. So this will be the last answer for these questions. Next, AFL, assessment for learning. Students have to do assessment for yourself whether you can do the combined operation involving expansion or not. If you can do the combined operations involving expansion means thumbs up. If you cannot, means thumbs horizontal. If you totally cannot, means thumbs down. So please assess for yourself. If you cannot, or horizontal means that you feel 50-50, please rewatch back all the explanations just now. So please remember, when doing expansions of algebraic expressions, every term within the bracket needs to be multiplied with the term outside the brackets. So please bear in your mind. So next, we will proceed to another learning standard, which is solving problems. Let's see the how we are going to solve the problems following the three simple steps, which is give, ask, and count. So what is give? Give means information give from the questions. What is ask? Ask means what did the questions ask? Count. Lastly, we must count the answer from the given info. Let's see how we use the three simple steps to solve these questions. The example given, Juan Maria has a piece of carpet which is 3R minus 2 meter in length and R plus 1 meter in width. Calculate the area of her carpet. So, how are we going to solve this using the three simple steps? So this is the given diagram, 3R minus 2 and R plus 1 for the length and the width. 
So, give. What is the information give from the questions? Which is length and with us. What is the questions asked for? The question asks to find the area. So lastly, we need to count. What we need to count? We need to count the area by using the formula, which is length times the width. Let's jump into the working. So the working is area equal to length times the width. So length is 3r minus 2 and the width is r plus 1. So we're going to, uh, we have to solve it by you expand and simplify it. So expand using the arrow method, 3r times r, then 3m, 3r times positive 1. So 3r squared plus 3r, followed by negative 2 times r, negative 2r, and negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. So we solve it by finding or determining the light term, plus 3r minus 2r are the light terms. So 3r square will be equal to, the answer will be equal to 3r square plus r minus 2. Let's have a look on another question. Ramesh received RM50 pocket money for y minus 8 days. Every day he spends RMX minus 3 for a cup of coffee and RMX plus 4 for a bowl of mee curry. So how much money is he left with? So we follow the three simple steps, which is give, ask, and count. So what is the information give from the questions? The information that we have is pocket money RM50 for Y minus 8 days. Besides that, we still have information is the money spends, which is RMX minus 3 plus RMX plus 4. The money spent for a cup of coffee and a bowl of mee curry. So what is the question asked for? The question asks to find the pocket money that the Ramesh has left. So we have to count by using the pocket money minus the money spent. To solve these questions, we have to use the pocket money to minus the money spent. Before we find the money left, we need to find the money spent. Money spent is equal to x minus 3 plus x plus 4 times the y minus 8. We have to find the money that we spend for a day. So we total up the money that we spend for a day for a cup of coffee and a bowl of curry meat. So x minus 3 plus x plus 4, then only we multiply by y minus 8. y minus 8 is number of days. So we solve it. So take away the bracket. So this is a like term x plus x, which is 2x plus 1. Then only we multiply by y minus 8. Use the arrow method, as usual, 2x times y, 2xy, then 2x times 8, negative 8 is negative 16x, and positive y uh, times 1 is equal to positive y, then minus 8. Okay, so follow... The next step, which is we use the pocket money to minus the money spent. Next, we need to find the money left by using the pocket money 50 minus the answer that we found earlier, which is 2xy minus 16x plus x minus 8. Why I need to put the answer in a bracket? Because we need to minus all the term with the different operations here. So we have to put a bracket in order for us to uh, make a less careless mistake. So we have to remove the bracket. Refer to this, okay? Remember when we need to remove the bracket, this is negative 1 times positive 2xy. So it's, this is the answer, okay? After we expand, negative, positive, negative. Negative, negative, positive. Negative, positive, negative. Negative, negative, positive. That's why we need to always refer to the chart okay for the integer so after we ex uh, remove the bracket now we can find the answer by looking at the light terms any light terms here no light terms but we have the number okay the, the all different variables so what we can do is 50 plus 8 only to simplify the answer so the last answer will be 58 
minus 2xy minus y plus 16x. Don't forget to put the unit RM in front for your last answer. Next, AFL again. Assess for your learning on the solving problems. Can your master the techniques or the three simple steps to solving the problems of expansions of two algebraic expressions? If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you cannot, please rewatch the video. That's all for my lesson today. Before I end my lessons, I would like to ask all the students to make this to five. This to five to read for yourself on the learning standard 2.1.3 and 2.1.4. Hopefully, every one of you is in five. I see you in the next video. Thank you very much for joining my class today. Don't forget to give my video a like and subscribe my channel. See you soon. Bye.